So this is the impossible, if it's uh, the impossible image on a flat earth, apparently, according to Miles Davis. Now, uh, the criteria for him removing all his uh, content from his channel and becoming a flat earther is that if we can demonstrate that these series of images that he's posted um, are consistent with a, uh, can be proven to be um, produced on a flat earth, then this is, this is the criteria that we need to address. And as long as we meet this criteria, then he will do as he said, which is remove all his content and become a flat earther. So uh, much more, much clearer to a flat earth proof than a ball earth proof. It's not. It's worse than that. But it's 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 an actual impossibility given ball um, topography for these peaks to be there. But the only way in which you could get this image would be to have multiple variant levels of lumen and refraction occurring to bring the peaks into what would appear to be representative of positioning on a flat plane. But there is no way in which these peaks could ever sit relative to each other as they are doing on a ball. It's yeah. to me what Miles has provided is a definitive proof, okay, that this view, this this observation is not achievable on a ball because of the way he's presented all the other heights and gave us all that quality detail. And um, the the only way which you can marry up this observation is when you apply these peaks to be positioned on a flat plane. It's impossible on a, on a ball. It's impossible. It's impossible on a ball and confirms we live on a flat plane when you take into account perspective. So, unfortunately... <laughs>
still thinks that light follows curved paths? What a moron. You guys are stupid. You're thick. It's embarrassing. <laughs>